What is up guys, welcome back for another video. Today I'm bringing you guys another condo tour here in Patsy Italian. As you guys can see, something's a little bit different about me right now. I have braces now, so yeah, this will be what you guys see for the next like year, two years while I'm wearing braces. Uh, but anyway, so we are at the edge here in Pattaya and we're gonna be doing this video with uh, AJ. He's becoming a familiar face on the channel. He's gonna be giving us a tour of this condo because he's staying here for the weekend. So we figured why not show everybody what the edge has to offer. It's located right here on Pattaya Soy Song Road, which is Pattaya Second Road because Song in, is two in Thai. So anyway, let's go meet up with AJ. Yo, AJ, my up, guy. Bro? Welcome back to the channel again. <laughs> hey, bro. It's good to see you, man, for the folk, for the most part. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, right, bro. So we down here in Pattaya. Last time I seen you, we were in Bangkok. Yep, yep. It was like a tour of your condo. Yeah, man. And you're at the edge now, so. Yeah, bro. It's one of my favorite spots. I often come to Pattaya at least two, three times a month. And I just like to vibe out. I need to get away from Bangkok from time to time. So, man, let's go check it out real quick. Let me show you around. Dope. So, yeah, man, it's really beautiful. Great scenery. Uh, and it's brand new. I think it was just built maybe uh, two years ago. Two years ago. Okay. Yeah, I think two or three years ago. But it was just built. So everything is brand new. Marble, chandelier. Uh, it's really good, man. It got good views. Of course, it got extra security. You need to check in security to get through the gate. Um, and yeah, man, it's very private, very secluded. And it's also, it's downtown. So it's within walking distance. The beach is only like five or 10 minutes away as well. So yeah, that's so really Beach good. Road is just a road over. So yep. this is also right by Central Mall, literally like a five minute walk. Yep. Uh, Mike's Shopping Mall is literally directly in front of this. And then on the other side of that will be the beach. So yeah, yeah uh, this is where all the parties at pretty much. This yeah. location, you can just uh, walk outside and take like yeah. a, a song towel, is that called? The, the bot bus we also say. Yeah, man. <laughs> I guess I could show you. So we got our, our lobby here, but when you come in, you usually come in like downstairs, but they got a spot where you can sit down. They got a bathroom outside as well. So if you're waiting to check in, for the, you know, if you're using Airbnb or a hotel, pretty much you can at least sit here and wait for your taxi or wait for your car, which is convenient. Most times when you arrive into the building with a taxi, you'll be arriving downstairs. Um, and I think they got an elevator that brings you upstairs as well. So it's just really good. It's, I like, places that are heavily guarded as well you know there's almost i want to say five or six security guards here so you got 24 7 security night and day which is really good and what i love so much about the place it's a pretty easy check-in process as well we got a lot of things to show you man i think you guys are going to really love the amenities here because they're so new they're so fresh they're so modern and it's uh, and the and the price is going to blow you guys away uh because you know compared to you know what I'm paying in Bangkok, so because <laughs> <laughs> the last video didn't get the <laughs> the best response. Yeah, they were mad. Mad, <laughs> the, they were mad. What are you doing? Oh man, I'm gonna stay in Chicago <laughs> or, like, or Atlanta. Uh, you, you can have it, brother. You can have Chicago. You can have Atlanta. But yeah, so we got a key card. So you need a key card to check into the building as well. Um, so this is you booked this off of Airbnb. Right? I booked so this on Airbnb. Airbnb units here. Yeah. How was the check-in process? Like, did they meet you here when you check in? Or, like, how do you... Man, it was very smooth. It was very... Hey, you got to... Oh, where are you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're <showing> the <laughs> No, bro. You put it out. Man, <laughs> how you doing, man? <laughs> yeah, and that's what I love, man. The bros here. Uh, we always say... We speak to each other, man. It's, like, really, really great energy as well. Uh, check-in process was very smooth. Um, you talk to your host on Airbnb. You get your car in the mailbox, um, whichever room you're booked in with. Um, and that's it. You don't even have to speak to front desk. So it's a very smooth process. You can check in um, all times throughout the day as well because you're, all you have to do is get your key card for the, you know, for the most part. <laughs> you know, so, yeah. But, yeah, man, it's really good. I love the ceiling. I love the views, man. It's just they really, they really put a lot into the artwork here. Um, I think right now it's high season. So right now it's a lot of tourists at the moment in Pattaya. So a lot of, like, you know, um, a lot of foreigners right now so the building is pretty packed but some days you'll find that it's not that many tourists or many guests here but it's really good it's really smooth so yeah man i'm gonna take you guys i'm gonna start off at the rooftop um let you guys check out the pool the gym um, um we got a pool table we got a co-working space as well so we've got so many things here man it's just super convenient at the end of the day and you guys already know that's what I look for <laughs> because I don't like to leave my places. I like everything to be within walking distance due to the traffic. But the great thing about Pattaya, the traffic is not as bad, you know, what I love so much. So let's um, go upstairs, man. Check it out. 
All right, brother. Yeah, man. Welcome to the views, man. So yeah, we're up here on the roof. Uh, we have, of course, the pool. We have uh, great views if you want to come up here and tan. Uh, but come on and check out the spot as well, man. So sometimes, you know, if you want to just chill out and catch a good vibe, you can. Of course, you're going to get a lot of your tourists and locals and everyone up here as well. But it's just good vibes, man. Um, and you can get your Instagram pictures as well <laughs> if you want to look good for the gram. Uh, I want to show you guys um, one of the... The pool, I think, is maybe four or five feet. Sorry about that, brother. Uh, but I'm afraid of heights as well, so I don't spend that much time up here. Uh, <laughs> but as you guys can see, man, just how beautiful and how great Pattaya is, man. It's just good vibes at the end of the day. Um, you can't beat that, man. You can't beat that, you know, when you come up here. I like coming up here because, of course, I think in Bangkok, I mentioned that the population was like, it has like 11 million people down there. So I like to come up here to escape and get away, man. Sometimes traffic, BTS, but I do prefer Bangkok over Pattaya. We'll probably talk about that more in the other video, but it's just great to get away. You can go jet skiing as well on the beach if you want to. Um, and you also can get on a boat and have a good experience as well. If you zoom in really close, you can see the B Pattaya uh, city sign as well over there. Yeah, so I'm definitely peeping the, the views from here is, yeah, man. is, I think this is a big, a big selling point. Um, yeah. So yeah, since we located, and yeah, from up here, this is pretty high. So you can like kind of see <sighs> Too <high>. everything. <laughs> I'll show you guys, we'll look down. We're on the 31st floor right now. Yeah. So, so yeah, let's we'll take, take a it. look around up here. Yeah, I'll take you to the, so we got the pool over here, man. Really good. One thing I'm already noticing about the edge over other uh, condos is that yeah. the amenities here look like they're pretty used. A lot of condos, the amenities aren't used that much. Yeah. This one is pretty busy. Like. Oh <laughs> yeah, oh yeah, definitely, definitely, man. Um, people are definitely using it. I mean, it's new, it's fresh, and it's also very creative. One, one thing I love about this pool as well, I guess it's, it's like an edge, like the way it's shaped and designed. It's not your typical circle around the pool, but it's really great. Um, I believe it's within, like it's maybe like four or five feet, so it's not that high as well. But I mean, of course, you can get a lot of great Instagram content out here, a lot of great TikTok content out here. Um, but also, man, it's just, uh, you know, when you're spending the money that I've spent, you have everything at your convenience. And it's, it's some, it's, sometimes it's just hard to find situations like this. Especially being from America, I know that, you know, when I stayed in like the Marriott or, you know, other places, you, you're not getting pools on a rooftop, you know, with views like this. And you're five minutes away from the beach for the price that I'm paying. You're not getting stuff like that. And this is just the beginning. We're not even, uh, <laughs> I haven't even showed you the gym yet. <laughs> So it's, just, it's so much more. We got some more decked off spots over here that are really dope and really cool, man. So uh, a lot of people sometimes they got like little seating areas over here. If you want to just get in the shade and just chill out, you can relax as well, which is really good. And, um, you know, man, we got a it's a good it's a good, good community and a good flow of things. Um, this is one of my favorite spots to take pictures, you know, man, just because it, it like has a really great great set and like great views um so sometimes i come up here just to take photos man or sometimes i just come up here just to chill and just just to be peaceful and just reminisce man sometimes it's unbelievable to imagine that I, i'm living in thailand sometimes it's just like man i can't you know i've been traveling all over the world but i never imagined seeing myself living in thailand it's so far and you know but life here is just so amazing so good and i i, I don't have to deal with Eight inches of snow. I don't have to deal with Chicago and, and Atlanta <laughs> that people keep comparing to like, Thailand to. Yeah, you know, that's crazy. That's a crazy comparison. <laughs> Mad crazy. Look at that sunset, man. It's just, it's just amazing. It's beautiful. You got your yachts and your boats out there on the water as well. This just the first pool. We got another pool down here. I was, I guess, I would call it like the kitty pool, but. So another thing, one of the reasons I love this place so much is the, the things that are within the locations of this building. Right here, you guys can see Central Pattaya. This is a shopping mall. Inside of the shopping mall, it's actually connected to the Hilton Hotel. So Hilton Hotel has like one of the best rooftop bars. They got a great exclusive all you can eat breakfast. So I usually go there every morning. So I'm really, it's just being smart with my money. I like to live in the edge because it's 10 times cheaper than the Hilton. 
but I just walk over to the Hilton and enjoy their some of their amenities as well. So, you know, they got a, all the exclusive breakfast there that's really good. Um, we have almost 20 massage shops on this street right here that you can easily go get your own massage for 200 baht, which is like, what, $5, $6, something like that? $5, yeah, five, six dollars. <laughs> so literally I already had two today, you know, and I'm about yeah, to probably- You're massage crazy. I'm going to massage, <laughs> I'm just, you gotta get the, you gotta get loose. But the funny thing is though, even getting multiple massages, you're yeah. still priced at less than what one massage would cost you back Of home. course. So you can get three for like the price I, of man, I was paying $135 for an hour massage in Michigan. For, uh, you know, where, you know, and it's crazy you know, I can get one here for minimum, I mean, a full body one, $9, but just your foot massages here are $5, you can't beat that. You have your moss as well. We have our, like our, so if you guys get something on your shirt, spill coffee, you can go buy a, a quick white t-shirt or a linen shirt for two, three dollars real quick. You know, you know, it's not about, fashion is not, that important in Thailand if you're hot as hell. You know, people are trying to stay cool. They're trying to stay, you know, they're trying to stay fresh and cool here. Cause literally sometimes I switch outfits two times a day cause I sweat so much in Pattaya. So it's all about being cool and like comfortable versus always about looking fresh, you know? So you have a lot of convenience stores with affordable prices here, but you also have some of your high end stores as well that you can find inside of Central Pattaya and other malls. They got a Terminal 21 in Pattaya as well. It's a little further outside the city, but we, of course we got one in Bangkok. And then you got your nearby hotels and restaurants but as well. So we got another pool downstairs. Let me show you guys as well. Um, like a kiddie pool and we got some more amenities, which is really good. I would, I would call it a kiddie pool or maybe it's like a, I don't know if it's a hot tub or what, but it's like three, two pools actually. But you can come here and chill, vibe, you know, read a book, write in your notebook. Yeah, man, so we got the hot tub and we got another cold pool and a hot pool right here, which is really good. So it's really good, man. It's just really relaxing as well. Some days if you just want to vibe or you want to start your day off in a hot tub or taking a swim before you go out to the city and just catch the views. Of course, even down here, the views are amazing and the vibes are really good, especially right now. It's about, uh, what, six o'clock, seven o'clock. So watching that sun, you know, you know, man, go down, it's just an amazing view at the end of the day. What I love about Pattaya as well, I man, I love the rooftop bars. They hit a little different compared to Bangkok because you're able to like look at the beach and um, you know, it lights up at night. You know, you see some of the boats and people be having parties up here as well, which is really good. You know, I know you guys see me talking. I'm scared as hell right now. I am afraid of heights. Don't <laughs> think that I'm not afraid. I'm just trying to get this video shot for y'all. <laughs> but yeah, man, it's really, it really amazing. Oh, then, so this pool right here. This is the pool, comes yeah. Comes off the edge. Yeah. And so if you come, if you swim to this very end. Yeah. It's a nice, yeah, nice view. And yeah, it, comes, I would, it hangs off. I wouldn't never go that far, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely. So let me take you to check out some more of the amenities, man. So we got a co-working space and a gym down here, Muay Thai bag as well. So it's really good, man. So you, you never have, you don't have any excuses not to get your workout in um, or be able to work as well. And if you have 24 hour, 24 hour access to these facilities, the gym does close at a certain time, but the co-working space does stay open. Um, all night, so you can work right here, uh, and then we'll start. We'll probably start from the beginning, from the Muay Thai bat. We do have bathrooms in here as well. That's what I love so much as well about this place. You know, if you need an extra bathroom, as well on the ground floor, as one. And of, these then, bathrooms, I believe, they have what? There's a, a sauna in there, right? And yeah. There's a sauna and a steam room, I believe, in the bathrooms up here. They have a sauna and a steam room. All right, guys. So when you first come in to check out some of the amenities, we've got the Muay Thai bat. Let me go ahead and show you a demonstration. <laughs> yeah, don't mess with him. You see him on the street, don't mess with him. Look. I'm from Detroit. Don't ever get it twisted, guys. I know, you know, I'm an educated and articulate, but I'm from Detroit. Uh, so we got the blue tie bath. You want to get your box on. And then we got a laundry room right here. So if you're going to wash, it's really loud, but it's affordable, you know, if you want to get a wash in real quick. And then, of course, we have um, chill out room if you want to relax. We got the beanie bass, which is really good, super comfy. I never sit in these things, but yeah, <laughs> I could I could see me catching a vibe or chilling out one of these things. <laughs> the gym is awesome. Everything is key access as well, so you can't get into any of the 
anything here without a key. And that's what I love about, you know, this building, you know? Cause I, I hate sometimes when you at a hotel, you pay for all the amenities, people can just walk in and you oh, know, so I machine. love that. <laughs> so we got another boss machine and you can like do a quick start. It's really cool. Just do like a sparring session and it's really dope. And you could just box, man. And it lets you know, um, like jabs and stuff you need to do. I'm not about to do all that. <laughs> y'all not about to get over it. Y'all gotta pay for that OnlyFans if y'all want me to get down like that. But it's pretty cool, man. It's showing you the stuff you need to do. This is like a sparring session, but it's really good, man. They got two of these, which is really, you know, you can get a quick 30 minutes in if you don't feel like doing the traditional jogging stuff. And that's what I love, the convenience about having something to do. All right, so it says 30 seconds down, up, and then it lets you know. Boom, boom. Trim mills as well, man. Really good. And then not only what I love trim me, but look at that view. You know, like look what you're looking out to while you're exercising, while you're working. Look at the convenience of, you know, what you're getting when you're working out, man. You know, it's, sometimes there's some gyms that don't even have windows. So to be able to have a nice, you know, rooftop view of the city while you're working out is very inspirational. You of course, man, you got the um, your weights in here, you know, so sorry. And it's really good, man. It's really convenient. Everything seems to be very new and very modern. So, and the gym, I think, opens up every morning at about 9 a.m. And I think it stays open to about 9 or 10 o'clock at night. They don't leave it open 24-7, but, you know, it's for tired. You guys are going to be out at nighttime anyways at the end of the day. So, you know, you're going to have a good time. You're going to have fun. But it's just super convenient. So, I will love the gym. All right. So, this is my favorite spot. The social lounge. Uh slash co-working space. Really cool, man, you got the tennis table. Uh, you got, of course, your, uh, some of your lounges. How to do your things, guys. And you can chill out here. What I like about this place as well, if you're hanging out with friends or if you're going on a date, you can kind of just have everything here. You can just order some food, chill out. If you don't want to get out the house, you, they do have long-term housing uh, situations here at this building if you want to like be here permanently but I like I said I come up often on the weekends you got a nice little co-working space over here it's one of like a very chill spot um where they got like the little couch and they got books and they got like a table how you doing brother and it's a really nice little vibe and then going into the sky lounge we got like a little bar and we got a pool table in here as well so it's really dope what I love as well if you come to Bataille with a friend or your girlfriend or your partner, I mean, <laughs> the yeah, price. Sure. So I come often. I may come with, you know, my girlfriend at the time. And, you know, we get to reap the rewards for all of this together. And it's just like, you know, it's so much to do. So you got a whole look. at the, I mean, look at this. You got velvet pillows, marble tables, and you got a, you got a pool table. I'm going to have to, you know. Crack, crack your butt real quick, man, and, you know, pause. That is not right. <laughs> that is not right. What did he say? Oh. All right, that is not right. I was, I was trying not to swear. But show you show you how, how, how I get down, man. But, yeah, you got your pool table here. And, you know, at the end of the day. Yeah, yeah, this this really room is pretty dope. This is a dope lounge Bro. area. Yeah, and they got right the, the pool. So, yeah, this is, this is super chill. They got chill. the blinds down. But what I love about Patia, or what I, what I love about Tyler in general, you know, when I was in America, I would spend three hundred, uh, four hundred dollars a night on a hotel, and I only used the hotel to sleep. And you know, I never really took advantage of the amenities. I never really took advantage of the services there. But when you look at the price you're paying here in Thailand for what you get, it's like okay, you know, I don't feel as bad because look what all I'm getting if I'm not using using uh, the services here, but. In America, you, it just makes you, when you compare Thailand to America, man, it's just, it's just a next level. It's just a no-brainer at the end of the day, especially with the current inflation rate at the end of the day. I don't think I'm ever going back to America. I don't know if I will live in Thailand forever, but I definitely don't think I'm going back to America <laughs> <laughs> for sure. Yeah. All right, so while with his ass and pool, we can I'm just ask you a couple of questions. What are your thoughts on Pattaya versus Bangkok? So Pattaya yeah. gets a lot of bad 
rep. Like a lot of people, they have these negative thoughts about Pattaya. Yeah, you know, it's very. It's just, it's just, it could be a scandalous city, but I feel like the worst part about these uh, negative things that get passed down is that Pattaya gets defined by that. Yeah. When when you actually live here, it's not. It's it's way it's not different. That, at all. that perception. There's so much more to do here. Yeah. Than just. Be on yeah. Six or Walking Street. Yeah, it's it's well known, highly known for being a red light district area. But people can say the same thing about Las Vegas. They can say the same thing about Miami or California. They can say the same thing about Netherlands and Amsterdam as well. But the truth is, you know, it's nothing like that here at all. It's not something that you're just seeing out on the streets. You don't just see, you know, th that type of stuff happening. It's very modern. It's very new. Um, I just love. It's very convenient as well. Um, you know, it's it's. I don't know. I just feel that, especially YouTube and media has portrayed it to be such a bad place to visit. Where if you look at our most of our videos in Bataya, me and yours, it's nothing but families here with their kids. You know, I don't know a place where families would keep building. Build keep bringing their children if they didn't feel that it was a place for them to visit and feel comfortable in at the end of the day. All right guys, so here is my room. Feel free to come in, check it out. And I can walk you through a couple things. Yeah, so studio type room. Yeah, man. Almost like the studio rooms, these remind me like of like longer stay hotels. Yeah. Um, but obviously people People live in these rooms full time, but they do. A lot of Airbnb for Airbnbs are in this building. So I think for Airbnb, especially like for like a, a weekend or a short time, a room this size is mm -hmm. perfect. Especially if you're yeah. The alternative to staying at a hotel, you do get more a lot more bang for your buck staying in somewhere like oh, here. Oh yeah, man. I rented this place for the whole weekend um, for a reasonable price. And of course we have a refrigerator, we got a kitchen sink, we have a washer inside the room. Got a teapot and we have coffee and water that comes with the room. We have a lot of cabinets, so we got our spoons and plates and wine glasses. We also have cooking, um, you know, pots so I can cook as well if I want to do like something romantic. They also have on Airbnb crazy. They got like a love room, so I rented out the love room once. I guess, <laughs> and uh, you know, it's a it's like a they have like a, a rose petals. And they got a hot tub and they got like the little bitty flashlight and you can have a romantic night and that room is a that room is a little price a little higher. If you want to do something, uh sorry guys, if you want to do something special for the missus, you can they got other rooms. We got a bathroom, we got a full toilet, we have a sink, and we have a shower as well. I do bring my shower shoes every time, you know, just just because as well. You can check that out. Get some water. And of course we got a toaster. We have more cabinet space where we have like washing, you know, uh, cleaning supplies, broom, dust plan. So you got a lot of space. You got a lot of cabinets as well. Going into the bedroom, of course, we have a nice, I want to say this is a, this would be like a queen or si single. I want to say this is like a full, full size full bed. Size, yeah. Yeah, this full, is a full size bed. We got a full size. Yeah, I would say full size. We have Wi-Fi, of course, really strong and fast Wi-Fi. Then we have a closet here as well. So this is the closet, guys. So you, they have a dirty clothes basket. They have more space as well. We have an iron that comes with the room. So if you want to iron your clothes, you also have those advantages. Um, so it's really cool. Something simple. Like I said, this is a weekend trip. You're not packing for six months. I don't need to bring bags on bags on bags. And you got a nice little chill, relaxed room if you want to come here and just, you know, just lay back and just... Do a little bit of reading or just reflect on life and smoke a cigar. I don't smoke, guys, but yeah, it's a nice little vibe. It's a nice little, it's a nice little vibe, you know, and I love it, man. Then I got my little setup as well. So when I do have client calls or meetings, I usually just have them in a the room because it's quiet. As you guys can see, social hours got a little busy, uh, but it just depends on the time of day as well. Sometimes it's really empty. It just depends on the time at the end of the day, but you can work right here from your from your laptop as well at the end of the day which is really good so you know you don't need to you know have to you don't have to really go outside i can do a lot have my keyboard with me have my laptop and i can run meetings and have calls here at the end of the day which is really good so and, how much yeah. does this room cost per night per night i don't know that exact, i want to say about roughly i want to say it's about 30 dollars 
I think I paid thirty dollars USD, but plus tax, I want to say maybe thirty four, thirty five. Um, for the whole weekend, I paid one hundred sixteen dollars. Okay, is that Friday to Sunday? Friday to Sunday. Okay, nice. So, but you know, so yeah, Friday to Sunday, one hundred sixteen dollars is crazy. And I did look this place up on Facebook. So for yeah. you guys who are curious about what would it cost to live here, yeah. So a room like this, like a studio setup, would run you about twenty five thousand. Uh, bought a month, which is about six hundred ninety-five dollars. Uh, you guys, you just seen the tour, so you yeah. see what you guys get for that price. Mm. Um, a lot of what you're paying for here is like once again, it's the amenities and the location. Uh, but twenty-five thousand bought in Patia. If you shop around, you can definitely get a lot, a lot more. Like you get a. Oh yeah, I wouldn't pay twenty-five thousand for a studio, but if this space is fitting for. I I hundred percent agree. I feel that in Pattaya, um, and Pattaya, you can you can definitely find a much larger space for seven hundred dollars. If you go further outside the city, maybe like I'm talking like twenty thirty minutes outside the city. It's not like Bangkok, but just playing the devil's advocate for somebody that likes convenient. You know, you literally can you guys can see it from my window. You can walk to the shopping mall. You can walk to the beach. You can walk to the Hilton Hotel. Is nowhere in America. You can live right now for six hundred dollars and walk to a shopping mall and walk to a beach. You know, like <laughs> it's just stop the cap. Don't come with the comments talking about Chicago or Atlanta. I, I don't want to hear no more comments. <laughs> or, or what's the other guy? Uh, Ohio or <laughs> you know. So do not come with the comments with that. Don't be capping like for real. So just to play the devil's advocate, six seven hundred dollars. Yeah, you're walking distance. Restaurants, massage shops. You have a pool. You have a brand new pool, a brand new gym, co-working space already in a building. I still pay for a WeWork membership in Bangkok. I pay for a modern gym because my gym is not the newest. I pay for a lot of those things, but I, you know, and that that that's roughly a couple hundred dollars a month. But here, I can get it all for seven hundred dollars. But like I said, I like coming up here on a weekend. Sometimes I come book the place for a whole week, but even for a whole week, roughly, it still amounts to around two hundred, three hundred dollars. What would cost me one night for a hotel? In America, you can get a whole week here in Pattaya, and this is not just this place. It's a lot of other places, but this is one of my favorite spots to come to. I really love the edge, and you also got your Netflix, your Amazon Prime, um, on, on your TV. I love the TVs are large, rooms are so comfy. It's it's really comfortable and it's clean as well. It's clean, it's modern. You guys know I have OCD. You know I like I like being in clean places as well. At the end of the day, and the views are great. I got. This view, but usually I do get a nice ocean and beach view as well, so it's really good. All right, you guys. So let me know what you guys think about the Edge. So you guys have seen a lot of the Riviera properties. You guys have seen the properties in Bangkok. What do you think about the Edge? Would you live here? Would you book here for a weekend? You like the location? What was your favorite amenity? Let me know in the comments below. If you guys want to see more videos, more condo tours, be sure to smash that subscribe button. I will keep them coming. Anyway, guys, see you in the next video. Peace. Hey, real quick, I want to offer you something special. If you're willing to exchange me your email, I will provide you my Unlock Patia free guide plus my Thailand travel guide for men, but it's really for anybody. So women, don't feel left out. You can be able as well. Plus my digital nomad course, plus my how to write your way to 1K ebook, plus a list of over 30 ways to generate income remotely. You're gonna get all that for the free ski if, if you just provide me your email address. So click the link below this video if you want access to all those free bonuses. Don't delay, cause soon I could start charging for it. So don't sleep, get it now.